The cultivation of the pear in cool temperature climates exceeds to the remotest relics, and there is evidence of its use as a food since prehistoric times. The pear was also cultivated by the Romans, who ate them raw and cooked just like apples. The pear is native to coastal and mildly temperate regions of the Old World, from Western Europe and North Africa East right across Asia. It is a medium-sized tree reaching 10 to 17 meters tall, often with a tall, narrow crown. About 3,000 known varieties of pears are grown worldwide. The pear is frequently raised by sowing the pips or seeds of ordinary cultivated or wild kinds. These formings are known as free or pear stocks. And when I say that, I really mean I have no idea what I'm saying. I just read whatever Wikipedia tells me to say. See, I just copied it right, right from the website. Summer and autumn cultivators of Pyrus commutus, being climactic fruits, are gathered before they are fully ripe. While they are still green but snap off when lifted in the case of the pass... Yeah, that word. Long the flavored winter pear in France, the crop is traditionally gathered at three different times. The first, a fortnight or more before it's ripe. The second week, or ten days after that. And the third when they're fully ripe. Uh, fun fact, this, uh, this pear is green. Yeah. Here's the nutritional information about pears, the stuff and the things. Yeah. It's a naturally low-fat food, it has no sodium, and it's a good source of vitamin C and K. Which means it's good for you. Because Einstein proved it. And because I ran out of time making this video, I don't have any more room to add more information. So, remember kids, look both ways, don't talk to strangers, and uh, only you can prevent forest fires. And, uh, I don't know, eat pears because they're good for you and stuff, I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's over!